and welcome to what I like to call Cryptid Corner. Even though we are not in a corner as I had originally intended, but um, the corner of my room is too dark and I don't really have money for anything, um, let alone lights, so welcome. Hi, quick introduction. I am so sorry for all of the loud, obnoxious cars that are, uh, again, being obnoxious throughout this whole video. So, yeah, I just want to say sorry in advance and um, back to the regularly scheduled programming. So what I hope to do with Cryptid Corner is sort of take a look at different cryptids all throughout the United States and throughout the world as well. Not just the most popular ones, but some ones that maybe might not be as popular or as well known as say Bigfoot or the Mothman or any other uh, cryptids to that caliber. So with that being said, I want to talk about five different California cryptids that I did a little bit of research on and um, it's a little biased because I am born and raised in California so of course I want to start off with some unknown California cryptids that I didn't even know about. Like they're freaking rad man. The first one on the list is the Fresno Nightcrawler or also known as the Fresno Alien. I personally wasn't aware of it until I saw a TikTok earlier this year. It's a short humanoid creature about four feet tall and appears to have no arms and very, very long legs, well, compared to its body size. It was first seen back in November of 2010 and also in Yosemite National Park back in 2017. Some other possible places that it's been seen include Ohio, as far down as Southern California, and also as far as Poland. So no one really has a lot of information on the Fresno Nightcrawler as far as I could find. Some people say that it's speculated that it could be some sort of creature from Native American lore, but that's pretty much been debunked as far as the current information of the Native American people that inhabited the Fresno area. Some other possible explanations could be that it's, again, like an alien, which would make sense just with the weird shape that it is. Some other more sensible and probably most likely theory is that it's a misidentified gazelle just standing upright, which, I mean, I live in Central California. There's not a lot of gazelles over here, so I have no idea if they can even like stand upright for any period of time. But yeah, that'd be really freaking creepy to like encounter at night. Others suspect that it's just, you know, plain and simple. It's just a hoax. Uh, it's a pair of pants on a wire and someone just videotaped it or kind of set it up for the video security video feed that I believe it was caught on. And then the last sort of explanation that I could find was that it's possibly a new sort of like mammal, which I mean, not that aliens are, I mean, well, personally, I think aliens exist, but you know, that's not everyone's kind of sort of thinking, but <laughs> to think that a new kind of species, especially like in the Fresno area, um would would kind of just pop up out of nowhere is a little a little far-fetched um i mean i'm not a biologist i'm not an expert or anything but just from the little bit of schooling that i've done in the area of biology for other science classes that i had to take um it takes millions of years for species to pop up or to kind of just happen um but again i'm not an expert and and i'm pretty sure there is examples of people and scientists finding new species. Next up we have the cactus cat who is a fearsome critter that has been described as a bobcat sort of animal with thorn-like fur, sharp bones protruding from its front legs, and a branched tail. The cactus cat has been often spotted in the southwestern deserts such as California, Nevada, Arizona, those sort of areas, but for the most part most of the stories that come from cactus cat sightings usually tend to originate from the 19th century. There would be tales of cowboys with the, seeing these sort of strange beasts that would come out at night, often slashing open cacti, exposing the sap, and on later nights the creatures were said to get drunk off of the fermented juice of the cacti and would attack just random passerbys that would be, that would just happen across their paths. 
Like, how fucking adorable is that? Like, it's just a spiky cat. Like, obviously, yeah, you can't pet it. But just, like, a drunk, like, spiky cat, like, I, I mean, I don't want to get attacked. But that's fucking cute. The critter was also known to have a unique haunting wail that could be heard at night through the darkened desert along with the dry sound of its bones rubbing together. That's not cute at all. So most likely the source of stories of the cactus cat are probably fueled by numerous cases of misidentification and most likely a product of just bored woodsmen and cowboys of the era. So next up we have what's called the Hyapalm Hong Bear. I don't know if I said that right, but I digress. It's a sort of a small brown bear looking animal with a sharp nose and curly fur, as well as a voracious appetite for pork. So the Hong Bear has mostly been seen in the Klamath Falls area of California and upwards towards the Columbia River area as well. According to Lumberjack Tales, the hog bear was usually seen creeping around pig farms, but for the most part would stay out of sight for a large majority of the year. And back in the 1800s, there was a surveyor who had claimed to have found a real hog bear and actually presented it to the National Zoo claiming that it was a new species. Of course, he was found to have been wrong or was lying and therefore the story was debunked. The creature that he found was just an ordinary black bear. As far as information goes for the hog bear, I couldn't really find that much. I mean, just in general with these, the two that I've presented already and the two that are left, there isn't really a lot of information. It's mostly just word of mouth and stories that you gather from books and little snippets that you find here and there on the internet. Next up, we have what I think is the coolest ones that I've never heard about, and they are called the Dark Watchers. So it is said that in the remote areas of Southern California, there are mysterious beings that stand guard. The Dark Watchers are said to be impossibly tall, humanoid shaped. For the most part, they're only ever seen at twilight, standing silhouetted against the night sky along the ridges and peaks of the So these ones I found incredibly interesting, just because the thought of them themselves is just so creepy but so cool at the same time. They've also been referenced in, in certain texts, such as John Steinbeck's uh, stor short story called Flight, where he references the Dark Watchers. They've also been referenced by the Chumash Indians in their writing as well as their art. According to reports, they simply stand and stare off into the distance. What they're doing or what they're waiting for is a complete mystery. No one knows. It's said that if you approach them, they just simply disappear. No one has ever reported ever being close enough to touch them or to even talk to them. As far as the explanations for what the Dark Watchers are, there's a, real, a few interesting little explanations of what it could be. Some think that they are illusions, hallucinations, or misinterpretations of natural stimulus brought on by exhaustion or isolation. The next explanation could be that it is due to infrasound, which can be generated by wind and can cause feelings of uneasiness and anxiety in some people and is frequently attached to paranormal sightings which I again never heard of and I think that's really interesting to kind of look into and definitely something that I want to look into in the future. The last explanation could be what is referred to as the broken specter or mountain specter which is an optical illusion that can occur in certain atmospheric conditions when the sun is at a particular angle. The subject's shadow can be cast onto a cloud bank around them, creating the illusion of a large shadowy humanoid figure. Which sounds plausible, but I I like to think that there's just like these tall people standing on mountain ridges and like looking off into the distance of probably our world's future doom at some point. The last one that I have on this list is called the Central American Wind Tosser. This one was by far the weirdest one that I found on any sort of list or website. It's said to have a triangular body and it's also said that its head as well as the tail can spin around a hundred times per minute. And lastly, description wise, it's 
one of the most notable features aside from the triangular body is that it has 10 legs. Like this thing is freaky looking. There are limbs that sprout off of the creature's body at every angle, allowing it to quickly run <laughs> through any terrain, which it mostly, from what I've read, it's mostly found in sort of desert or sort of arid places. It also has sharp claws that it uses to walk up and down or on the sides of walls. This cryptid is thought to have lived in packs and is to be avoided at all times because they are incredibly aggressive. According to trackers and lumberjacks, the best way to take it down is by trapping it in a pipe or chimney, which, you know, I you just carry around all the time, I guess, back in the day. They say this is the best way to kind of get rid of it because it tries to escape from every direction and which ends up tearing itself apart, which is rough. Those were the five California cryptids that I found incredibly interesting, weird, and mysterious. I hope you had a good time watching the video. If you have any cryptids that you would like me to kind of research and cover it from any part of the world, please comment below and let me know. Subscribe if you like, look out to the mountains to say hello to your neighborhood giant humanoid creatures, and look out for triangle uh, lions, and have a good one.